So do I think this thing is suited as a vlog camera? Honestly, I'm a little torn. All right, I got a little bit of a different video for you today. I'm shooting everything on the Insta360 Ace Pro. I've been shooting on this camera for about two months now, and I wanted to talk about just strictly the vlogging capabilities of this camera. Do I think it's good for a vlog camera? Can it handle everything you need to uh, use it as an all-in-one system? And after spending enough time with it, I've realized that there are things that I love about it, there's things I don't love about it, things that I think are great for vlogging, and some things that I think are going to limit you. Of course, let me get this out of the way or else people are going to get upset. This camera was sent to me by Insta360, but it's not a sponsored video, they didn't pay for it. Uh, they also don't have any say before this gets posted online, so literally, you're watching it the first time they are. Since getting this camera, I've taken it on a ton of different trips. I've had a pretty busy travel schedule since January, and so I've taken this along and just kind of grabbed clips along the way. One of my favorite things about using an action cam style camera for vlogging is just the simplicity of it. You literally pull it out of your bag. You don't have to put a lens on it and put an external mic on the top of it. it. It just packs away super small. There's just something about having the full screen that can flip up so you can check your shots and like change all the settings and stuff. That makes it a lot easier and it makes it feel more like a vlog camera like the Sony's and the Canon's. Before I keep going, I need to take my dogs out for a walk. So let's go. Trying to get these girls out on as many walks as possible because it looks beautiful right now here in California, but in uh, about 12 hours, it's gonna start raining for the next three days, so. I gotta say one of my favorite things about using this camera for the past few months is the video quality overall, like especially in right conditions, is very good, very crisp. There's a lot of options to like tone up or tone down certain settings like your sharpness and your colors things like that, uh, but it looks great. The only downside, and this is my biggest gripe, and I mentioned this in my review, is the lack of focusing um, with this lens. Again, this is a Leica lens, so in theory, it's a very powerful, very incredible lens and technology, like whatever they have going on with Leica. But when I come up here, I'm soft, it's still focused behind me. You can see Sophie in the background still in focus. It's one thing to use this as an action camera um, and using it as a wide angle camera. I understand that that's the main um, intention for it, to have it just as a wide angle. But if you're a creator who's shooting everything on this camera, if you don't have the ability to you know, put a product up here and it be in focus, like you can see, it's not terrible. It's not like you can't use that footage, but it is noticeably fuzzy. That's a big thing for me because to use this as a, let's call it a creator camera, you need to get the wide, medium, and tight. You need to be able to do all of that in one camera with one lens. So I can't imagine this is something that can't be fixed with a firmware update because Insta360 has put so much juice into this camera. There's so many features, there's so many cool, things about it. I hope that that's something that they add to this camera in the future and that would honestly be game changing for people who are vlogging and using this camera as just an everyday camera. Let's talk about the battery life of this camera. I started shooting this morning at let's say 9 a.m. and there were a lot of gaps in between. It's now, my car clock is incredibly wrong, it's now 1 p.m. and I have uh, probably like 35% battery left on this. I haven't charged it yet. It hasn't been on the entire time. I haven't been filming the entire time. There's like maybe a two hour gap where I wasn't filming. Uh, just turning it on and off periodically. So I would say it's pretty comparable to any GoPro battery. If you're gonna be filming all day long and taking this on your travels and stuff, I would definitely recommend either getting um, a second or third battery so you can just swap them out or just make sure you have like a portable battery that you can plug this into and charge when you're not shooting. That's usually what I do is I always have that when I'm traveling so I can just plug it in with the USB-C and it charges pretty fast so I'm not really worried about the battery life here necessarily it's been pretty decent. Post walk, major success.
Now, audio has been a bit of a thing that I've been fighting with with this camera. I love the internal microphone. I think it's more than capable. And obviously, you know, I'm recording this entire video just on the, in, the internal mic and it sounds great. It has three microphones on here. So there's one on the front, one on the side and one on the top. So it does a really good job at capturing a lot of different sounds. And there's a really good wind reduction feature that I used for the first time today that I think actually helped it a lot. It is incredibly windy outside right now. So I figured this was the perfect time to test out the wind reduction option in the internal camera mic. Hopefully it's working well. If it is, then that's just another leg up for this camera. You can tell there's a little bit of wind noise there, but it did, I think, a pretty good job of getting rid of it. Now, if you do want to use external mics, you can do that with this. You just have to buy the Ace Pro mic adapter that gives you a 3.5 millimeter jack. And apparently you can use the Bluetooth option on here, the Bluetooth headphone option to plug in an external mic like the DJI Mic 2 or the Rode mics. I personally had zero luck with this. I watched a couple videos and was trying to figure out how to do it. It actually found the connection and it was trying to connect, but it just would not connect to this. But if you want to try it for yourself, it's pretty simple. You just need to grab your DJI mic. If you're using the DJI Mic 2s, you um, turn it on and then you have to hold down the record button and the power button and then it'll turn the light here blue. Once that's blue, it means it's in Bluetooth mode. Then you hold down the link button and that will go into pairing mode. You go into the Bluetooth option on the Ace Pro and then it'll connect from there. I saw a ton of videos of people doing this and having success with it. I just, you know, spent like an hour trying to do it and it wasn't working for me. So hopefully if you are watching this and you do have this camera, it works out for you. And I'm hoping that I can figure out how to, how to make it work in the future because that's a pretty cool feature if it does work. But otherwise, of course, if you really do want to use an external microphone and you don't want to deal with all of that, just record internally and sync it in post. Something Insta360 sent me as like their creator kit is this selfie tripod stick that they did in collaboration with PGY Tech. This has been very helpful for a lot of shooting situations for me. And you can also use all of the other like third party accessories for GoPro with this. So I'm able to mount this on my car. That's how I got all of these car talking shots by using a suction mount. So you don't necessarily have to buy all new accessories if you do switch over to this camera. So do I think this thing is suited as a vlog camera? Honestly, I'm a little torn. There's so many features that I love about this camera. The build quality, the features that are packed in it, the image quality. But the thing that I keep going back to that is the biggest hesitation with this camera is that minimum focus distance. If you're using this as a vlog camera, you need to be able to use it as a versatile camera. You need to be able to get somewhat close up on things and have it focus on that. In my opinion, I think that's a very big issue. And maybe it's not as big of an issue for most of you. And so if not, that's fine. But I think this camera has too much potential for that to be the reason that pulls people away from it. But all that aside, like literally everything else about this camera, I've really enjoyed. All of the features that it has, just the ease of use, the menu system, it's all very enjoyable to use as a camera. And I 100% plan on using this camera as an accessory to my other cameras. I don't know if I would only take this camera out if I was trying to document a trip but I would definitely make sure to have it in the bag to get shots that maybe my other cameras couldn't get. So that's how I'll probably always implement this camera into my workflow. And all of those reasons there are simply my opinions and the things that I noticed. So of course that might not translate the same to you. You might have no issues with some of the things that I have issues with. So take all of this as just one person's opinion and use it as a tool to help you with your decision-making process. But that's gonna be it for this video. I know um, this was somewhat of a surface level video, but I just wanted to showcase strictly the vlog and everyday use of this camera. Hopefully it helped with your decision-making process. I know how uh, overwhelming it can be when you're trying to decide which camera to buy. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit me up in the comments, and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.